Okay, so I'm going to start with my normal foundation, which is MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC50. I'm just going to put a little on my hand, like that, and then I'm going to take a brush and put it on. do like two or three pumps. I don't do a million pumps on the foundation. And then I'm going to use my concealer. I'm just trying to wipe it off. It's dirty. I'm going to use my concealer, which is MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer in NC45. So just a little pump of that. And then I just kind of use my fingers to draw it on in a triangle shape. And I take a beauty blender and the MAC Prep and Primer Fix Plus. And I just spray it. I don't want to spray the camera, so I'm going to spray it down to wet the sponge a little bit so that it can blend the concealer in. And I just spray kind of the bottom of the blender, just a little bit, and then I kind of blend out the lines. So I don't want any harsh, not too many crazy harsh lines. You want it to blend, everything to blend. Okay. Now that we have that on, I usually go on to my eyebrows, which I didn't get them done that long ago, so the fresher the eyebrows, the less time I have to spend on them. So I'm using Zoe Van Jones products. So I'm just going to take the pencil and line it up real quick. Working from the edges in and then I kind of like to brush it out so that it's blended in. See that? And then do the other eye. I have brows so like I feel like a lot of these um, people that do brows or do brow tutorials don't have really thick eyebrows. So I have like a pretty decent eyebrow already. I don't have to go crazy with filling it in, but I do like to kind of fill it in, fill in the gaps because I have like little gaps in my eyebrow. So I'm using the brow powder now. I'm just going to. This kind of helps me fill in all the little gaps because the pencil doesn't. I don't like going ham with the pencil because um, it can get too too dark and you don't want your eyebrows to be too dark. So I just, and the cool thing about starting with pencil and then going over with a powder is that it sticks to the pencil. Brows. I like to conceal my brows especially when they need to get done. So I use another, it's more, it's a potted concealer in NC45 as well. So I use the kind of this one for under my eyes and then this one for under my eyebrows. I just take an angled brush. That way you get like the perfect line. And I'm gonna take my foundation a little dab on my hand 
and work it in the top. They can get unruly, so I like to just kind of line them like this so they don't get too crazy. And I'm just going to blend it. Then I'm going to take the brow gel and kind of just hold them into place. Now that we're done with brows, I'm going to take Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and I'm going to just And I'm going to take my beauty blender, the other side of it. I'm going to tap under my eyes. Look crazy. This part always looks crazy to me. And then I'm going to just do under here. And under here, I'm going to do my forehead and my nose. So, you don't want to go ham on this on your forehead if you have a big forehead. I'm told I have a small forehead. So, there's that. So, I kind of highlight my forehead because it's small. I used to get made fun of. I look crazy talking to you like this. But people get made fun of because they have... Um, big foreheads but I got made fun of because I had small forehead apparently and they were like oh it's just eyebrows and then your hairline kids will find anything I swear to goodness so I'm just taking a brush and kind of just dusting off the excess powder okay now I'm gonna contour a little bit I don't go ham with the contouring um, I used to go in the Mac store like asking for like a cream to contour and they were like you don't need to do that you have high cheekbones like no one would sell me a contour I'm serious it was the weirdest thing they were like you don't need it but I like to do it a little bit so I'm just taking this powder studio fix powder in NW58 so it's much darker than my skin tone And I just rub it in like that. So nothing crazy. And then I'm going to do my nose. And then I like to do my jawline. I know not everybody does that, but like a really cool definition of your jawline and then I do my forehead just to give your face more dimension it's nice to add around your face like that so then I'm going in with my powder which is MAC dark deep mineralized skin finish I'm just going to, I don't know. I love the skin finish. I feel like it keeps me matte all day. And at this point, I like to put my blush on. So I'm using Sephora Hey Jealousy. So I like how pigmented this is. Because when you have darker skin, you need a blush that's really pigmented so that it shows up on your skin. Because this would show up really bright on a paler skin person, but because I have darker skin, 
see it's not as bright. So like I just it's hard for me to find a pigmented one. Sephora is one of the few brands that honestly had like a really pigmented color. NARS does too, um, but this is like a quarter of the price of the NARS, so I recommend the Sephora brand. So I'm gonna do a little highlighter. This is Bobbi Brown in Nectar. It's shimmering brick compact. So I use it for my highlighter. It's so shimmery. See what I'm talking about? Let's put a little on my nose. Okay. Okay. So that's pretty much my updated foundation routine. For that, for that, for that. 